Hi, I'm Will from Venture to Rome. Thanks for joining the channel today. In my quest to have more fun, I am going to show you this T-Van track trailer that I've had for the past few weeks on loan to me from the folks over at X-Grid Campers. And it is like nothing I have ever experienced before. So I cannot wait to show you around. We're headed down to the Owyhee River to watch the stars tonight. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this trailer as we set it up and drive down there so you can see firsthand what this thing's all about. Meet the Track T Van Zenith, an Australian made off road camper like nothing I've ever seen before. I call it the Space Pod because, well, it kind of looks like one. The trailer pulls incredibly well off road. Getting to the Owyhees, we were able to push pace at high speeds because the trailer stayed glued to the road and tracked perfectly. This is partly because it has a hot dipped galvanized chassis with a military grade MC2 suspension, aluminum used throughout the frame and walls, off road electric brakes, and a DO35 3.5 ton fully articulated off-road hitch. On the rocks, through the water, and in some muddy washouts, it articulated really well, stayed right where it was supposed to on the trail, and the mud flaps kept the trailer relatively clean as we pulled it through a variety of terrain. It weighs just under 2,500 pounds, has space for two 20-pound propane tanks, has a 28-gallon steel-protected water tank, and a 105-amp-hour deep-cycle AGM battery with a solar panel to keep it charged and a Red Arc Red Vision system to manage the power. These trailers are available in the U.S. exclusively through X-Grid Campers, with showrooms in Las Vegas and Knoxville. X-Grid sent me one of these to test out, give feedback on, and show all of you what the heck this thing is. So we took it down to the Owyhee River in the middle of the summer to have a camp out, play in the water, and show you all this very, very different kind of trailer. So we're here at camp, and I'm about ready to set up this uh, track T-Van trailer, because the kids are down at the river, and... Uh, we kind of want to give them a space to hang out tonight where it's a little bit cooler, kind of blocked from the sun, uh, where they can dry off from the river. Um, and so, and they can, and like the adults can have our own place and the kids can have their own place. So I'm going to set up this uh, trailer and I want to show you how it sets up. It's really cool. This thing consists of like this platform. It's kind of like a transformer. It's a platform right here that comes out. It's got these two legs on it. You fold it down and fold it out again. Let me show you what I mean. So this folds down and then it folds out again like this and there are these pegs that go in place so you can you can level it out really easily which is really nice when you're on uneven terrain like we are right now so this just needs to come up a little bit level right about there that's pretty close and then the hatch opens up kind of like a space pod and this is where your a lot of your storage space for your like clothes and things and your uh, sleeping area is but it has something that's really really cool check this out on top here is a canvas tent that hangs down and extends your living space by like eight feet or something ridiculous like that let's let's take a look at that so this net zips off <laughs> Like this, and this canvas comes down like this. And this thing gives you a lot of extra living space. So this cover actually seals around your sleeping area. So you have, it's just a bungee cord. So you have this like really nice protected area you're sleeping in and it makes a pretty good seal. So these straps and hooks anchor this canvas to the platform so when you're in there it doesn't move around on you and it's kind of stretched tight the nice thing about these is that they're magnetic so you just kind of get them on there and they kind of stick themselves to the platform which is really helpful so we're just going to use this nice little turf um, welcome mat that X Grid Camper sent with us. It's part of their rental package, but it makes a nice place to just like take off your shoes, kind of dust off your feet before you get into the tent. And you just got a few of these poles that store right in the kind of main sleeping area that you connect and like prop up the ceiling. And now your living space in here is basically com complete. And it's pretty dang big. Let me show you. Oh, and I almost forgot, it has this like breakfast table that just 
Velcros and hooks into place here. Do you actually have a place to like sit and work or like have a cup of coffee or have dinner? If you just needed like a little bit, a little table, this thing actually is pretty useful. So first you have all of this sleeping area. There's enough room for one adult and two kids or two adults or maybe even two adults and a kid pretty easily. It's about the same size as a queen size bed. And it's a really comfortable mattress. And there's all this wonderful storage underneath. So it's a great place to come change your clothes. I mean, it just it's just a really nice sheltered living space. And then there's this deck right here, which is so nice. It's like a place to sit. Uh, to, it's like a storage place, a place to sit. You could even, like I've been like kind of working off this space. You can kind of like, if you just need a quick place to sit, you can sit here and do stuff. I've been kind of like editing my videos and things, just sitting here with my computer. And so it's it's actually a really nice space without doing anything. No chairs, nothing. You've got places to sit here, place to sleep there, place to work, a little table to eat off of. So without adding anything to it, it's actually pretty dang equipped. So it's got these interior lights as well that are all push buttons. So when you turn the power on, you can turn these on and off just at the push of a button. And so it's really nice. You don't have to have all the lights on at one time. At night, you can kind of just choose the ones that work best. Once you remove the curtains from the windows, you see you have these pretty big windows here that give you a nice view of whatever it is you might be camping around. And for us, it's the Owyhees. Check this out. So we're in the Owyhees right now. And this is what we're looking at. These cliffs. Look at that. How cool is that that you can see them? Right out your trailer window. There's Nick over there from Zag Runner making dinner, getting dog food for his dog or something. I don't know. But I can see him. So this is an Australian camper people. So that means that it comes with a Red Arc Red Vision system, which is great. So you can see I've got my light controls here. Got fans uh, internally. You've got um, the water pump there. Uh, you've got uh, your power here. It's got an inverter. It's got a water heater. It's got um, a furnace. A diesel furnace so you can stay warm if it's cold outside refrigerator 12 volt um all kinds of stuff right here easy to get to very easy to control and very convenient that sound that you're hearing is the inverter charging my drone batteries right there so um that's nice that i can just have my drone batteries charged and there's a, a solar charger on the roof that keeps everything charged up so i basically have unlimited power it also has your usb ports your cigarette lighter adapter, your Anderson connector up there. So you can kind of plug in lots of different things here to the power bank. Under this hatch is the battery to everything, which I believe is 100 amp hours worth of power. I'm sure you can change that if you want to, to have different kinds of batteries or different levels of amp hours and watts and things like that. But it's nice that it's kind of out of the way and under the deck. And then look at all this room you have. Look at this. It's crazy. Like, I'm not a trailer guy. It, like, you know, I love rooftop tents. I love fast camp setups. But the ability to have this much space with a platform floor that's covered is outstanding. So you can be in here with these screens and you can look through your windows and still get all of the views around you. You know, but you can keep out of the mosquitoes. You can get a sunblock if you need it. You know, it's just, it's just pretty cool that there's this much space in here. Then outside of the trailer, you've got storage drawers. We can put a lot of different things. Another storage bin, we've got our, our firewood in this one, but it's got some uh, stuff that goes all the way across. So I have our, our pop-up fire pit and our chairs. So there's decent storage room on this. Um, there is uh, an outdoor shower, shower that you connect right here. Um, this is, I think this is like the diesel fill for the, for the heater. And let me show you what's on the other side. So this trailer is pretty small in its footprint, but it packs a pretty big punch in terms of like all of the things that it has. For example, you might be thinking like, well, where is the kitchen? Well, I'm about to show you, check this out. You just raise this panel, press this little yellow button, pull this out and well, bam, you've got a three burner stove. You've got a full sink, it's like powered water. You've got this really great windscreen. If it's windy outside, you can protect your cooking. So when this is all set up, you've got a lot of flat space, which as you know, when you're camping, flat space is like 
a hot commodity. Look at all this flat space. Thanks, Chris. So you've got your powered faucet here, which is really nice because having like water on demand at camp is really great. Um, you've got some storage drawers. So for example, this one has your silverware in it. This one is where like you can keep your pots and pans and things like that. So, you know, you can actually just kind of keep everything in here and not have to pack extra stuff. But then check this out. This thing right here, at first I thought was super weird because it's another uh, like water port and it's a hand pump. I'm like, why do you need a hand pump? But get this, you're done setting up the trailer. You're done uh, packing up the trailer. You're getting ready to go. You need a place to wash your hands. You can just pump this out without having to pull out the kitchen or you're taking a stop on the road and you need to fill up your water bottles, which is something that happens to us and our kids all the time. You can just run back here and have like instant water pumping up your water bottles uh, without needing to turn anything on, open anything up. It's just really, really convenient. So would I buy this trailer for myself? Well, the truth is, I don't know, because I don't really think of myself as a trailer guy. Like I'm kind of a non-trailer guy, but I gotta tell you, this trailer from Track and the Expedition Voyager trailer, I mean, these are really, really nice trailers. That tow behind a Jeep. So if you've got a family of four like I do, or bigger, or a family at all, or you just really enjoy kind of the amenities of camp, you know, like easy running water, easy cook spaces, all that stuff, it, it, these are really compelling. I mean, I can tow this thing behind my Jeep and it can't go everywhere my Jeep can go, but it can go many, many, many places my Jeep can go. So there's something there. I I'm not quite there yet. I'm not ready to say that I'm a trailer person, but this is really starting to kind of broaden my horizons on what an off-road expedition could look like. So I hope that you uh, enjoyed meeting this trailer for the first time because it is something that's really special. It's something that's really impressed me. And I'm about to go hang out with my friends around the campfire and sleep very comfortably in that like four inch mattress. So good night. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.